Hello there, today we're going to talk about binary notation and what is binary for? So, binary has a stance mate that it's it follow this this rule that's on and off. So where on, one stands for on and zero stands for off. So he has only two states, and with those two states, you have infinite possibilities to represent numbers, letters, and several values. So and well, what do you use for it? Basic for the computer language because computers talk in binary. They only understand on and off, nothing else. Like under everything, every program, everything that's where you type. Down there on the machine itself, on the hardware, you the machine is gonna talk on and off. It's gonna communicate from one part to another part of the computer with those statements on and off and for us to want better understand what's going on we put it a value for this state on and off we use one for on and zero for off so it's better for for us to see instead of reading on off on off on on off off so it's easy to say one zero one zero one one zero zero than other things and basically, the computers they only understand those statements. States. So when I type my name like this, you can actually the computer understand something like this: a bunch of zeros and ones compiled together to form a, my no, my name. And everything it can be combined to form something like that in, for the machine. But we're gonna talk more about this later. For now, we can just understand how this, those values, how you read those values. So we talk in that small notation. For us, our daily lives, we use the ten numerical symbols from zero to nine to represent our numbers to calculate our payments, our the quantities of how many fruits we have or how many box of milk you're gonna buy, anything like this, we use the decimal notation. And while the computer is using the binary notation where we have two numerical symbols, as I already said before, zero and one. And everything can be everything that is represented in that small also can be represented in binary. So for example here I have the four Five seven four hundred and fifty seven the number four hundred and fifty seven in decimal and you look on the right the binary notation for this same number. So the only difference between binary and decimal it's the number of numerical symbols that we're gonna use to represent the values and the binary as you can see it occupied more space than the decimal notation so it's harder to read and when you're gonna write something bigger imagine a whole document that you write very, several paragraphs you, if you write this in binary you're gonna have like 10 times or even more number of pages that you regularly use using the alphabet and the decimal notation so this is basically the difference between decimal and, and binary that the space and the number of no the symbols that are using to represent each value. So understand a little bit that. Let's see how we use binary. So if you're gonna represent one algorithm, you have two possibilities: zero and one. So zero in binary is gonna be zero and decimal, and one in binary is gonna be one and decimal because we have only two possible combinations using one algorithm. When you use two algorithms, we have four possibilities. Two, 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 two possibilities on the first algorithm and two possibilities on the second. So two times two is going to be four possible possible combinations. 
So we have one zero zero is gonna be zero in decimal. Zero one is gonna be one in decimal. One zero is gonna be two in decimal. One and one is gonna be three in decimal. I'm gonna talk right in a few slides over. I'm gonna talk how you calculate those things here just to show you how the possible the possibilities are represented. So if you have three algorithms, now you have eight possible combinations, as you can see here, from zero to seven. So see that you have eight possible possible combinations, but when you see we count, like you start counting on zero, so you went at seven and not eight on decimal. Because remember, we, we count the zero too, so zero is possible number one, one is possible number two, and there it goes when you get on seven, seven is actually possible number eight, possibility number eight. So this is the tricky part and where everybody gets confusing because we have eight possible combinations, but remember it comes from zero to seven and not one to eight. That's the main difference. So now we're gonna learn how to convert the the binary to decimal. So in one line we're gonna write the decimal numbers. So we start with one, the algor first algorithm of the number. We're gonna start. It's gonna value have the possibility of value one. And the next algorithm algorithm we figure how much the second algorithm value at multiplying this first one by 2. So the second is going to be 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. And the third one is going to, again, 2 times 2 is going to be 4. And the fourth one is going to 4 times 2 is going to be 8. So the first algorithm value 1, the second value 2, the third value 4, and the fourth value 8. And there we go. If you have another here, it's going to be 8 times 2 is going to be 16. And there we go. As more that you have, more algorithms you have, higher is the value of the, the house here. So in this case, uh, on the second line, we're going to write the binary. So if you have any binary number, you start writing from the right to the left to follow here. So we have here, for example, 0, 1, 0, 1, no, 1, 0, 1, 0. We can read 10, 10 or 1, 0, 1, 0. So we're going to read the number. And to find the decimal value for it, basically we multiply the decimal line by, to the binary line. So 1 times 0 is going to be 0. 2 times 1 is going to be 2, 4 times 0 is going to be 4, 0, sorry, 4 times 0 is going to be 0, 8 times 1 is going to be 8. So, and then after we have this result, we add all of them that we have here, and our final result is going to be 10. So, the number 1010 and binary, it is 10 in decimal. Uh, so, this is it for this first video. Thank you for watching and check our, keep checking our posts to more videos. Don't forget to check in the description the PDF file for this, this presentation and also the exercise file to practice your knowledge. Thank you for everything. Bye -bye.